Hey friend and welcome to a brand new video. We are going to do a favorites video. I don't know how many people do favorites, watch favorites, like favorites video, but I enjoy watching them so I'm going to make one for you today. Just stuff that I've been loving this holiday season because there's so much being advertised to us during the holidays that we grab up, try, buy for others or ourselves. So I'm going to give you the lowdown on what's actually good and worth your money. So if you're new here, you can definitely subscribe because we do videos every Monday and Friday. I also have an Amazon wish list if you want to support this makeup studio even further. I'll put the links to that down below. But let's get started with the favorites, including what's on my face today with this purpley grunge, kind of looking like a plum bruise a little bit. Anyways, let's get into it. Now we have makeup and non-makeup items. I'm going to go through the makeup products first because we're here for it. But I forgot foundation bases, how good the MAC strobe cream is. I layer this under full coverage or matte foundations because I like something a little bit glowy, more like skin. So I'm wearing a very matte full coverage foundation today. It's the Oma Beauty Say What foundation. And I put this underneath just to give a little bit of a glow, a little bit of something. You can also put this on top of your foundation on the points you want highlighted. It is so good, so universal universatile MAC strobe cream. I forgot how amazing it is. You can put it with your lotions. You can put it with your skin tints, tinted moisturizers. It's so good. Another foundation that I forgot how good it was, even though it smells like paint for the first like 20 seconds, but it's worth it because it's so cheap. I think it's on sale for like two or three bucks on Amazon right now, but it's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I need to get the dewy version of this, but this is the original Photo Focus. It's so good. Every single time I wear this, I get compliments on my skin, even from my boyfriend who doesn't even know the difference between foundation, concealer, contour, nothing. He's like, what are you wearing on your face? Cause it's so hard to focus your like my camera were for pictures and videos and he helps me with that and he says it's harder to focus because my skin's so smooth with this and looks so radiant and beautiful his words not mine it's good the things that launched recently from what and wow was the little twin star collection now the things that's really worth in the collection is the sponges, which I've talked about in favorites before because it's really similar to their sponges they have year round and the Halloween Makers Fantasy sponges, but they have a sponge holder. Now this is silicone, it's easy to wash. There's vents in it so that your dirty sponges won't be like moldy or gross when you store them in here and your clean sponges will have, it has aeration and it's easy to clean and it's just so cute. It sits up on your vanity like a little cloud. What else is really good from that collection? Not for me so much the eyeshadows, but this lip gloss. I have it on today with some purpley lip liner and some actual eyeshadow in the center of my lips, but this is the gloss I'm wearing today. It is the Wet n Wild Star Light Lip Gloss. It's in the color my lucky star it is pink with hints of like blue and pink shift glitter in it it's so gorgeous so pretty it's sticky but not like super bad i just like it for looks for photos and stuff but what's really worth the money in the collection is this lip scrub and lip mask that comes in these so efficient great tubes i hate when you have to dig your finger into lip scrubs and then rub it on your lips and this is in a stick form like a chapstick so it's so much easier easier to use and then you scrub your lips with this wipe it with a tissue and then use this lip mask like a it's almost like a light balm but it's a lip mask so good they smell very nice and sweet and just so cute the packaging a makeup product that I have been loving, and I can't believe I'm saying this because I used to hate nude lipsticks, but this is the nude lip pencil that I absolutely love. It's in the color Ashton by ColourPop. It's that brown nude 90s color that I absolutely love. I remember Urban Decay came out with a 90s tone, very similar with this lipstick that I was obsessed with. And this is in the color Ashton, and it's the lippy pencil by ColourPop, super affordable. When I tell you I have been struggling to find an under eye corrector for my bags, I know the Charlotte Tilbury is my absolute favorite dream. It's so pricey though. It's like almost 40 bucks for this little compact of under eye corrector, but I found one from Ofra and it's in the deeper color amber. So you have to mix it with your concealer. It's so good. 
and it doesn't cake under my eyes if I just put it lightly with some concealer lightly on top of it. And I love the packaging. I lose the Charlotte Tilbury one because it's so much smaller than this all the time. It's very hefty. It has a mirror, which is super helpful. But this is a great one to go. I don't think I'm gonna find a replacement. I don't think I found a replacement, but this is good for like more makeups like this, where I'm not just like doing an everyday to go look. But I still wanna cover them under eye, dark circle bags. The eyeshadow I am using today, oh my goodness, not the dark purple, but the inner like sparkly purple is from this gorgeous palette by Makeup Revolution. I have a thing with Makeup Revolution. I'm not a fan of them copying people at all. I haven't bought from them or supported them in so long because of that, but I was at the store and I saw this and I'm like, Oh my gosh, it's so pretty and I didn't even look at the brand. I'm like, the colors in here are just so gorgeous and I fell in love with it and I hate to say it because I don't like that this brand steals like Too Faced stuff and like from other brands a lot of times, but I'm wearing this color tail feather and then Hot Topic on top. If the, someone made a highlighter this color, Hot Topic. Topic. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. It's like this purpley sparkly look in the center of my eye. It's so pretty. I was really surprised how good this eyeshadow palette was. I like the tin that it's very, I mean, again, knockoff of Too Faced, but it's very like sturdy. Another makeup product I was surprised about, but I didn't like it at first because I had to keep trying it again and again. It is the Magnetic Kiss Lashes. These are so useful. If you put enough eyeliner that they give you on in here to magnetize the lashes, it'll work. If you don't put enough eyeliner, they're going to pop off from the sides. There's little tiny magnets in here. I don't think it'll affect your eye. I've used it many, many times. I absolutely love this for very easy looks. They're super affordable. Magnetic lashes have come a long way. I used to be terrified to try them. I'm like, magnets near my eyes, Don't, that does not sound safe. It doesn't sound good for me. And they were so expensive made by indie brands before, but now that Kiss has adapted the magnetic eyelash trend and made it super affordable at Target and at drugstores, it's worth a try. If you wanna wear false lashes on the daily basis and want something easy, quick in the mornings to do your makeup with, I would definitely give this a try. Do it a couple times. You have to do kind of a thicker liner to do this which I don't always like my looks with liner, but when I do, I'll probably grab this for a quick eyelash look. Now before makeup, we have to prep our skin and I needed an exfoliator. And the problem with exfoliators with me, a lot of exfoliating products tend to have rice in it if it's a daily like light exfoliator, which is what I was looking for. But Dermalogica came out with this hydro mask of exfoliator, which I'm a dry skin queen. I need something hydrating like this and it is magical. It has this little push button that's super satisfying to push. I don't know what it is about the texture of this, but pushing it is so satisfying and it comes out in like a light blue toothpaste form, but it has these beads that melt into your skin and you have to keep using it for like two to three minutes on your face, don't get it in your eye. And the beads remind me of, if 90s kids, early 90s kids remember this, it was Orbitz, the drink with the little like bubbly, it was like before the boba teas were really popping. Orbitz was like this sweet drink with little orb balls in it that looked like a lava lamp. And this looks like it has Orbitz in it. Let me get a little bit, even though it's so pricey. As you can see, there's little balls in it and it's this light blue color. And it feels like you're putting toothpaste on your skin, but it's so satisfying of these Orbitz little ball thingies popping on your skin and it smells so wonderful. It smells like aloe vera, high-end spa, giving me very much calm, serene like vibes in the shower with the hot steam. I absolutely love this. Again, it's a light exfoliator that's still gonna hydrate your skin. It's so good, I love it. Now, this next part of the video is not for people that hate heat damaging their hair. If you're one of the natural hair, like air dry your hair type girls, you're not gonna like this product, but I absolutely love it. When I need to get out of the door and dry my hair very quickly and like brush it, dry, do everything very quick. Even though I have thin hair, it does take me a while to get my hair like 
situated into a manner that's like excusable to step outside in. Me and my mom actually gifted each other this during Christmas and it is so amazing. My best friend Chelsea actually showed me this because she does hair and makeup for Disney. She's one of the best people in my life and she showed me this Revlon brush styler like dryer. This brushes your hair and dries it in one. There's a low setting, a cool setting, and a high setting and it's so amazing. I don't know if it's ripping all my hair off because I have thin hair, but my hair looks so much better when I use this, even though it's probably damaging the heck out of my hair. It's so much fun just to go like this and it dries and does my and brushes out my hair in like 10 minutes flat. I absolutely love this. I don't know what I would do without this weird gadget. I feel like this is a step towards the future. You know when everyone was like, oh my gosh, in the future we're gonna have flying cars and like we do have self-driving cars, but now we have this, which seems so futuristic to me. Clothing, you've probably seen me wear this definitely in my elf video, but everyone in my life is like, are you washing that? Because I'm wa wearing it so much and yes, I am washing it. It's this reindeer jacket, oh my goodness. I would say I thrifted this, but I thrifted it from my mother's closet. I just saw this at my family's house when I was there, and I'm like, whose jacket is this? It's so cute. And mom's like, I think it's an old jacket that I never wear. You could take it, and it has reindeers on it, and it's giving Twin Peaks vibes. It's giving Santa's Little Helper vibes. I wore it in that video, and I absolutely love this. I want anything that's cozy, fluffy, log cabin vibes. And speaking of log cabin, there's a TV show. If you like Bob's Burgers, you will love this show because it's in the same lane of comedy and quirkiness and animation. It is the show called The Great North. And the lead actor, one of the voices in it, the father in it, is played by Mr. Ron Swanson. Nick Offerman himself is the father and it's a story about this family living in a log cabin in the snowy forest and they lose their mother and they're trying to figure out a way to go about life with this new adventure and new life of not having their mother there living in like literally the smallest of towns in the middle of the forest. I think it's in Alaska and it's a big family. It's I've laughed out loud which is like kind of rare for me to laugh a lot with certain comedies but it's really cute you'll fall in love with the characters and the story and just it's fun and I love it so much and I get the intro theme song stuck in my head I'll put the link to the trailer down in the description box below just so you can check it out and see if you want to see it for yourself it's not your vibe or not it's there and the last thing I want to talk about has anyone seen the Agratsuko recent season? I think it's season four that recently came out. Oh my goodness. I'm waiting for my friends to see it so I have someone to talk about with it because I can't believe like, this season felt like it was good, the plot was good, but it felt like it went nowhere this season. I feel like there's so many new characters introduced in the recent seasons before this one, but there's no new characters in this. It didn't go anywhere with the plot and I'm just so confused and I hope they make a season five, which we'll have to wait another year or more. I know it looks like a Sanrio little kids TV show, but it's not, it's about adult life. Agretzko, love her. Anyways, the last thing I wanted to talk about, two things. This one singer, Shibuzi, he has two songs that really remind me of Little Nas. If you like Little Nas, you'll definitely like these songs. And I've talked about it on my Instagram, it's so good. And I have to talk about these TikTok channels, these TikTok accounts that clean makeup. They don't only just clean makeup, they revive makeup that's broken or old. And it's so hypnotizing and good. I cannot pronounce the account that I've been watching and following, but I'll put it here. And I'm sure there's more accounts, but this is the one I've been watching on TikTok. They take like, say you have a Dior eyeshadow palette that you've saved all your money for and love and cherish, and it breaks and shatters and you're heartbroken. You could send it to this company and this company like, cleans it, takes the little eyeshadow pieces apart in it, and then cleans the actual eyeshadow pigment, and then presses it back into the clean fix eyeshadow palette. Even broken mirrors and stuff, they'll fix that. It's so fascinating, so good. Anxiety levels are down when I watch this. There's something about cleaning videos, makeup, and this is like a combination of both those things that really calms me down, and so I absolutely love it, and my heart is just like happy and singing when I see this TikTok account. 
Anyways, I think that's it for today. That's all my favorites lately. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for sticking around, hanging out with me. I hope to see you guys every Monday and Friday here on this channel. We not only do beauty makeups, but of course we've been doing a lot of holiday themed body paintings, effects videos, and crazy characters. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm gonna be concocting a new series, bringing back Phantom Curiosities, hopefully before that. I have so many ideas to come for the new year, and I hope to see See you guys and you'll stick around with me and I love y'all I will see you soon bye